Okay, hello everyone, welcome back to the Wolf Pack. Today we are doing one final unboxing slash mail time slash hangout time for the year. Well, there's one more wrap up video to do left for 2022, but today we are focusing on unboxing some last, last things because if you saw the last video that we did, that one was all about getting rid of half my collection. And tell me why I'm looking at my shelf now and it doesn't look very empty for someone who just got rid of half of their collection. It's because I also have a lot of games scattered around the studio. So whatever I got rid of, I ended up filling up right back up. And I'm also opening some new games today. So that's another reason why we did a culling too, to make room for some new party games that we're gonna play over Christmas break. Today's actually gonna be a super short unboxing. There are only a few packages that I got. And I think only one of them is full of games. Let's do the games first. Okay, first up from Miniature Market. I, I remember one of the games I got. I think I only got one. I might have gotten more, but there's one in particular that I got because of all of you. Helped steer me in the right direction for this game. It felt like there were multiple games in there, but yes, I was right, only one. Captain Sonar. Last time I thought I got Captain Sonar, but I just got Sonar, which was only from one to four people. And we have a group of eight people, literally, that are going to make it for game night. So I thought this was going to be super, super fun for Captain Sonar. In this game, if you don't know what it's about, there are two teams of four, or you can like mix and match and how we see fit. But there are several different roles for each person that's playing. There's a captain, there's an engineer, I think there's a navigator too, but everyone has a different role and you're all trying to coordinate and sink the other battleship, which is going to be on the other side of a giant screen. It looks super fun. Um, like how we played Ready Set, like how we played Ready Set Bet for Fire and Ice in the beginning, I feel like Captain Sonar would be a really good fit too for like an icebreaker game. Now this one I am super, super excited about. Now this right here is board game day. I have been dying to find a board game themed children's book. I have two, well one niece, and two nephews that, you know, in the same household. So one household, two households, two households total, long story short. But I really wanted to get them a little board game themed book. And Ambi like came out with this right in time before Christmas too, which is absolutely perfect. I don't want to open it to spoil anything, but this is the front cover. It's also illustrated by Rachel Kramer. Here's the back. If you have kids or you know kids and you want to get them interested into board gaming by reading, I think this is one really, really exciting way to do so. This is called Board Game Day. I'll leave links to Ambi's books down below in the description box. Ambi has also been a huge supporter of my channel for quite a long time. She is also a fellow fantastic creator, really amazing person. And I hope to one day game with you, Ambi. So thank you for the books. These are absolutely amazing. And I can't wait to give this to my niece and nephew. Okay, next up, this actually is photography related. And since I just got this in time too, I figured it'd be fun to unpack. This is from Hold Fast, one of my favorite photography things. Now, if you don't know, I also have a photography channel too, linked down below, where I focus all about photography techniques and photographing people instead of board games or board games and people. And if you saw a little bit of the behind the scenes in Fire and Ice, you saw that I also had a whole team with me that day. These two things are camera straps. Now I'm not gonna take them out because they are a mission to put back in, but I do have one right behind me. I have to have two actually behind me. If you saw me at Gen Con, you probably saw me wearing these as I was working, but they basically are a harness that you wear around you like a backpack. And here are camera attachments that are super easy to take out. So on this bottom part, this actually attaches to your camera, this directly, this thread mount attaches to your camera. And then there's also a safety measure in case like for whatever reason this fails, which it never has for me ever. But in case that fails, this also attaches to your camera as like a second measure. This piece right here screws into your camera. This attaches to a side mount of the camera. And this is for a dual harness strap. So it carries two cameras. That way, if you uh, are a photographer or you ever use the camera, you know that one of the most annoying things is to figure out where to put your camera when you're not using it. In between shoot two, I carry multiple cameras. I carry two wide angle and a usually a 28 to 70. So like a medium to long telephoto. It's always nice to have them at the ready. I also use them for all the board game lifestyle shoots as well because it makes life so much easier. And when I have enough cameras to outfit my team as well, this will come in handy for them. But these are also dual harness straps as well. One for Nasir, one for Josh. And yeah, I think we are, uh, we're getting geared up to progress this 
channel a lot more next year. So I wanted to get this for them. That way we are all matching in black, especially when we do weddings too. It'd be awesome for all of us to have matching camera straps and matching cameras and just be super coordinated and cool. What's also really cool and what I want to do in the future too is that Hold Fast also does like custom branding. So I definitely want to get some like custom logos that way all of us match. I was just about to say Christmas came early, but it's literally Christmas right around the corner. This is from Rath Skellers. Side note, early on, hopefully in January, maybe early February, I am going to release a video called The Most Epic Board Game Table. And it's gonna feature the table that we filmed at Fire and Ice, which is the Rath Skellers table. I cannot wait for that one. Let me tell you now, I'm so excited to film that one. It's kind of surreal to have a board game table here in the office now. Oh my God. Rascalers, from our gaming table to yours, have an epic holiday season, 2023. My name, logo, Christmas delivery. This is pure wood. Let me say now, they never cease to amaze me. I swear, this is, this is incredible. You ready to see what's in the box? The Christmas menu, 2023. Here is a whole Christmas menu, olive oil, drink like a Greek god, Marvel or DC, Marvel, video board games, a little bit of both. Oh my God, this is pretty much a loot box, something that I've always wanted to have. What is all of this amazing stuff? We have shortbread cookies, some more desserts in this velvet bag, full of goodies, I think chocolate and snacks, Oh my God, everything here smells so good. Seven is fruit. Look at all this Greek jam. Number 10 is supposed to be our newest dice trick day. Look at this black and red, brand new dice tray. And then we have chewing gums over here, some ornaments, some festive ornaments. And we also have Honey on the side over here as well. Some more decorations. They even have a little ornament. Rascalers, I'm gonna put this on my Christmas tree right after this. This is seriously like one of the nice things that I've ever received. Rascalers, thank you all so, so much for sending this very, very thoughtful gift over. I love everything here. Can't wait to try it. I'm gonna down these cookies tonight. With that said, I don't know what day this video is gonna go up, but if I don't see you before Christmas, have a wonderful, happy, festive holiday. Be safe, enjoy with all your friends and family. Have some really fun gaming. Let me know what games you're playing down below uh, during the holidays if you have any plans for some gaming sessions. And I will see you all with some videos before New Year's.